Hello everyone, welcome to the Art Club with me, Miss Kat. It's our third session together. In the first one, we turned some pebbles into lovely mini beasts. Last week, we learned how to turn plastic bottles into lovely animal uh, planters. And today, we are going to learn how to use these and turn them into these beautiful animal bookmarks that I have made previously. Now, for today's session, you will need uh, ice lolly sticks, lollipop sticks, of any size, any color, any shape. If you don't have them, you can use anything that you have at home. We have finished this kind of scrunchy nuts this morning, and I'm going to show you how I can use this for my base of the look of the uh, bookmark. You will need uh, felted pens or permanent markers. You can use paint. As I say every week, you may use your uh, paint pens, you may use normal paint. I am going to use today felted pens and I'm going to use a mixture of normal felted and permanent markers to show you it can be done with everything. You will need glue stick, you will need scissors and you will need A4 paper or actually any size of paper, a plain paper. So please pause the video now and go get yourselves ready. Okay, I hope you are ready. I have prepared myself. I have prepared loads of these animals. You can see we have got monkey, piggy, penguin, horse, tiger, bear, mouse, fish. The imagination is yours, which animal you're going to pick. I want to make a frog with you today. You can see I made this earlier on. I made one from a little lollipop stick. I made one from the bigger one. So we have got lovely two froggies here. They are made with two different things. This one is made fully out of paint and stuck paper on it. This one has got card cut out. So we can use anything. As I told you previously, if you don't have lollipop stick home, you could use. I've cut this out of my um, Kellogg's box. Now what I would do if I didn't have any I slowly stick, I would then take any pen and just make an oval shape of any size. It's a bit, it's a bit big, but I can cut it smaller. And then I would cut it out like this. If you need help, with scissors ask your adult but I think you can all manage to cut it out with your scissors there you go I have got my ice lolly shape looking almost same just like the one I have got here that I'll be using okay if I was to use the one I just cut out I would take my pen I would color the background so it's not visible that it was a Kellogg's cornflakes box okay and then on this side I would then create my frog but I want to show you how to do it from the actual ice lolly so to make the base all I have to do is find the right color if you were doing different animal then the base would have different color my one will be green for the froggy if you're using paint is exactly the same all you will have to do is wait for it to dry a bit longer with my marker is going to be very quick so I'm just going to do the base I would like to do both sides I'm going to show you my froggy from the other side in one minute just so you see how it looks so it's a double-sided bookmark right this was very quick as you see now my froggy that I made earlier on is double sided. It has got the front with a smile and here is the side from the back. So I'm going to very quickly do the other side of my ice lolly stick. You take your time. If you want to have different shades, you may use different colors. If you'd like to make a zebra, you will need to make a white background. If you'd like a doggy, it could be brown, it could be white, it could be any color you choose. Right, and my ice lolly stick has turned into green ice lolly stick. There you go. Now, for the face, I'm going to use my paper. Now, those that can make a circle very easily can do it. I like to use help. So I found my coffee cup and now I'm going to go around the base, carefully pressing the cup down. And I need to make two. And I need to make two because 
Oh, it's going to be the wonky, which doesn't matter. We'll cut it out. I need to make two because we want to have the front and the back of the lollipop stick. Now I'm going to cut them out. As I said, this one was a little bit wonky. You take your time and make sure that they are nice and round. it looks like an egg so we're going to fix this side and they are roughly the same as you can see okay now I don't like to put any paper to waste so I'm going to use this little one that I have just cut out and I'm gonna use the back sorry the top of my glue stick and go around it as well and that will create the eyes on my frog if you were doing a frog on a much smaller lollipop stick then you need to use something much small to go around to make your eyes or you just try to draw it with your hand so you go around these it's not 100 percent perfect but we can again go around and cut it out okay that will do we want those eyes to be really big to look like the froggy is smiling with big eyes at us. Okay. Right, I'm happy with these. Now I can move my excess paper out of the way. Okay. Now, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bigger circles, which are the head, and again, color them in. If you're using paint, you will need to wait for them to dry. I will be able to use them immediately because my felted pen will dry immediately. So, why am I doing it before sticking it on the lollipop stick, you might want to ask. That's because it's easier to decorate it here and then stick them together. So here it is. My circle's almost green. go we now can do the second one again if you want to have it lighter green you just take another green do it lighter green okay I think it looks quite nice this green I might use it for the front for the face and the darker one for the back of the hat If you've used paint, now you need to wait for it to dry. I can see that I have a little bit line left from when I was trying to make the circle. So I'll just cut it out so it looks nice. And there it is. My hat is almost ready. Okay. Just checking if it's the same. Now, my eyes. My eyes are ready. All I have to do is add two dots. And I want to add them slightly off the middle. So it's going to look a bit funny when it's on the froggy. You could do this with pencils, with colored pencils. You don't have to use the marker. Now, for my smile, I make a curvy, lovely smile. And we have got two pink cheeks. Or oh, they can be red. I think I want to do them red today. Nice two red cheeks. Okay, now to assemble it. Take my lollipop stick that I have prepared. I'm going to put my glue all over the top of the head, the front of the head, sorry, and a little bit on my lollipop stick as well. And I'm just gonna stick it on it. Now be careful not to stick it on the paper underneath. Then I'm going to turn it around, put it down. I'm going to take the other circle I've prepared. I'll put glue all over this one as well. Little bit on my lollipop stick. 
and then I'm going to stick them together just like this okay if you just like mine can see a little bit of the other paper sticking out you have two options you can either color it in from the back or you can cut it out it's absolutely up to you what you're going to do I'm going to cut a little bit this one off because I can see the darker side from the back now my eyes are prepared I'll put nice glue on them and stick them so they can a little bit overlap the actual head there you go perfect froggy lollipop stick that can be used in any book i have got here a roll doll book and it's about the crocodile so i think the froggy just fits it lovely and there it is my bookmark is pretty looking and smiling lovely at me perfect if you wanted to make any of my more difficult or looking difficult bookmarks remember to do both sided just like my seahorse just like my dolphin same with the mouse every single of my bookmarks has two sides if you want to make those that look slightly easier you could do just a little easy penguin that is just painted on the lollipop stick i didn't have to use any paper at all for this one or oh, very little paper for the giraffe here so i'm going to let you look at these if you want to have four ideas and you would like to make any other one i have got here a lovely doggy sticking out from this book which was made by a child at uh, at the hillside when i did it with year six children last week so that's a one that's made by kevin and it looks lovely and he chose to have his doggy blue with dots so as you see you can have any color you choose and that's how it's going to look when you when you finish now for our next week's session i will need you to go get pen and paper so you write what we need so pause the video now and go get yourselves ready please okay welcome back so for next week all you need is toilet paper because we're going to turn these toilet rolls into these amazing pencil holders so i've got three pigs and the bad wolf i've got fox i got frog i got doggy i got rabbit i got giraffe i got penguin i got bee i got tiger i got zebra and we can make many many more it's really really exciting so for next week you will need to collect toilet rolls you could use kitchen roll but we would need to cut them in half you will need paint or felted pens or both and you will need a glue stick and some paper we don't need too much paper but for our little ears or for our little legs we will need some paper i hope you had fun and i'm going to see you next week bye